Hi everyone, it's Bren from Brunei Arts, and I'm back again with another tutorial for you guys. I read a lot of your comments from my last video, and a lot of you requested for me to do a tutorial on how I sketch faces. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today. Now I know there is many many different ways on how to sketch a face, but today I'm going to be showing you how I do it. Again, I should let you guys know that I'm not an art teacher. I have been self-taught and I've been drawing for about, mm, I don't know, since I was like four. <laughs> so that's quite a while. But I did learn from reading a lot of how to draw books when I was little. And also watching a variety of drawing tutorials on YouTube. And that's my goal, to help you like it helped me. <laughs> Okay, so now that that's all cleared up, we can go ahead and get started. Like my last video, I'm using my iPad Pro 12.9 inch. I'm drawing today with the Apple Pencil, and the app we're going to be using is Procreate. The tutorial I'm going to do today can be applied not only to just digital art, but also traditional. So if you're not a digital artist, you can totally just grab a paper and pencil and you're ready to go. So here it is. Today I'm going to be showing you a very simple way of how I sketch faces. Now I know there's thousands of ways of how to do this, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. So how I start, and I think how most people start, is by making an oval shape. Next I'm going to draw a guideline of the side of the face and chin and another guideline down the middle of the face. This is gonna help your drawing look symmetrical when you add in the eyes, nose, and mouth, etc. The next guideline is gonna be added near the middle of the head. This is where you're gonna draw your character's eyes. Next, I'm adding two oval shapes near the side of the head. This is gonna be where the ears are gonna go. And the last set of guidelines is gonna be for the nose and the mouth. So now that the base is done, on another layer, we are going to add the character's features. I'm going to start by drawing the eyes first. Since my style is more of a cartoony style, I am drawing them a lot bigger than they actually should be, anatomically speaking. I normally like to draw big, round eyes. And don't worry, we'll be adding more details to the eyes later on in the video. Okay, we're moving on to the nose. The noses I draw for my characters are usually pretty small, kind of like a button nose, I guess you call it. But if you were drawing a more realistic face, then the nose would be slightly bigger. Next is the mouth. I usually start by drawing almost like an M shape, and then a small curved line at the bottom and a curved line at the top. Now I can go in and add a cupid bow to the top of the lip. Depending on your style, you can just leave it alone too if you don't like a cupid's bow on your character's lips. Then we're going to move on to the eyebrows. I like to draw the basic shape that I want first. Um, you can do a skinny eyebrow or a thicker eyebrow, whatever you prefer. I typically like to draw more of a thicker eyebrow. I don't know, I just like the way it looks better. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Next, I'm going back and adding more details to the eyes by darkening the top lids. And I'm also going to darken the bottom lids, but not as much as the top. Then I'm going to go and do the same thing with the nose and mouth. I'm basically just going to emphasize the details in them. When I go back to the eyebrows, I like to draw individual hairs to make it look a little bit more natural. Next, I'm going to draw the pupils in the eyes. And then I'm going to go back and accentuate the face. Just trying to go back and give her a little bit more permanent cheekbone and also clean up the chin a little bit. 
we're going to finish off by adding some details to the ears. After the face is mostly sketched, I moved on to the hair. I did just make a tutorial on how I draw and sketch hair, if you guys want to check that out. In that video, I show you guys different styles of hair and how to color them, so I will link that video in the description if you guys want to check it out later on. After I'm done sketching the hair, I'm just adding a few accessories to the ears and a few eyelashes to the eyes. And now that you're done adding in all the details, you're gonna make a new layer and basically just clean up your drawing a little bit. This step that I'm doing is completely optional because you're basically repeating the same steps that I showed you before. You're adding in more details to the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the ears, and the hair and everything else. But the more times you do this step, the cleaner it will look and eventually you can go back and add in that final outline to your drawing. And it really is true what artists say about practicing. At first I thought it was such a cop out to say that, but I have been drawing every day since last October, which that means is hmm, about like eight months now. And I have seen so much improvement on my drawings, it's ridiculous. From sketching to outlining to coloring and shading, I've seen such a huge difference in my art. And I actually get questions about it all the time and I tell people, hey, it's just practice. Everybody seems to hate that answer, but I wish I had a magic spell book that would help you guys draw better from one day to the next, but it's just not the case. <laughs> it really is just practice. Take it from me, it's actually true. Just draw and sketch as many times as you can. It doesn't have to be every day, but every time you pick up a pencil and draw, it really does help. I promise. I really am a firm believer that everybody can draw, you just have to put in the time. I think the only thing that is hard to teach would be creativity, and maybe how an individual perceives art, because everyone's gonna distinguish art a different way. It's just how it is. But anyhow, I've been rambling way too much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm gonna try and make another video next week. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave your comments and ideas in the comments below. TH Anks again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys like what you see. And like always, hope to see you guys very very soon. Adios!